Uh oh. Hey everyone, Sportum is here and welcome to a video review of Thor The Dark World Battle Hammer Thor 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure. The front of the card features Thor in his awesome armor, along with the new Thor logo for the movie. You also have the Avengers Initiative logo on the bottom, letting you know that the Avengers are still alive and well, and there's definitely going to be a future movie. And of course, on the back, you have a great picture of the figure itself, a brief bio about Thor, and last but not least, other figures available in the line. So, is this superhero action figure really super? Let's open them up and find out. Looking back to the past, the Iron Man 2 action figures were simply outstanding. They had great articulation very good detail, and pretty good paint applications for the most part. And the same can be said for the Captain America The First Avenger movie action figures. Moving forward to the Thor action figures, we still got great detailing, pretty good paint applications, and still very good articulation. After that, we got the Avengers figures, and we still got pretty good detailing, decent paint apps, but we got a little bit less articulation. But otherwise, they were a pretty decent toy line. Then we got the Iron Man 3 toys. And I was extremely disappointed. It was absolute garbage. The articulation was beyond pathetic. The toys felt cheap. Even the paint apps were just not up to par compared to what Hasbro used to make. There was not a single figure that I can think of offhand right now that was even close to being as good as the previous lines I have mentioned. The Amazing Spider-Man toy line was a little bit better, but you only had one good 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure, and that was the super posable Spider-Man. Everything else was just not worth buying if you are into articulation. So here we are with the second Thor movie action figure line. How does it compare to the previous figures that I have mentioned? I'd say it's an improvement. Starting off with the details, Hasbro did a pretty good job. His boots, his armor, his gauntlets, even his back has a lot of great detailing in it. And even his tunic has a nice flow to it, which makes it look very natural. While it does interfere with the articulation on his right arm, it can be very easily removed by simply popping off his head, remove the tunic, and problem is solved. His tunic is molded in a nice shade of blue and is made of a very soft, pliable plastic. And speaking of soft and pliable, the figure itself feels kind of gummy. It's sort of a soft, almost rubbery plastic where, especially at the joints, there's a lot of flexing and bending. That said, it does not feel cheap. This figure does feel pretty durable. His hammer is the same way, and the figure comes packaged with him holding it in his left hand, and it's Easy to get out, but almost impossible to get back in. If you don't put it back in carefully, you could damage his fingers, so be careful with that. The detailing for his face sculpt is probably where he suffers the most. It simply does not look like Chris Hemsworth. I'm not exactly sure if it's the sculpt itself, or the paint apps, or perhaps a little bit of both, but it just doesn't quite look like him. But if you're not worried about having an accurate likeness to the actor, then the head sculpt is still okay. Not great, but not bad either. Thor's articulation is pretty decent, especially when you remove the shroud or tunic that he wears. And it's pretty similar to that found from the Avengers 3 and 3 quarter inch movie toy line. His head can move left and right. Unfortunately, his long hair gets in the way, so he cannot rotate all the way around. But then again, why would you want to? He can wiggle, so there's not much up and down there. His arms rotate all the way around at the shoulder. The body armor does get in the way of that, but they can. 
Uh, they do twist all the way around as well. He has, of course, elbow joint. Rotates all the way around. He rotates all the way around at the wrist. He has no torso cut or waist cut. He does have hip articulation for the legs where they can move forward and back. Just a little bit back. Out and in. And they do rotate all the way around as well. He does have double jointed knees. So that's a very welcome bit of articulation right there. And he has ankle movement right there where he can go about that far down, that far up, and rotates all the way around. So that is a very welcome joint right there as, as well. So all in all, not, not bad in the articulation department. He does suffer from no articulation at the torso or waist, but otherwise pretty decent, especially without the shroud or tunic right here. So in the end, should you get this figure? I think he's Thorific. <laughs> get it? Thorific. Ugh. Tough crowd. As I said before I was rudely interrupted, should you get this figure? Well, despite the lack of articulation, it's really not that bad. I don't use the waist or torso joints all that much myself. My figures just sort of stand around and look pretty on the shelf. And for this figure, it serves that purpose very well. That said, he's not a complete useless hunk of plastic. You can get some very nice poses out of him despite the lack of those points of articulation. He's also, even though he's kind of soft and pliable, a very sturdy figure. I don't think he's going to break anytime soon. He feels pretty docile. He is taller than the previous Thor action figures from the first movie, and I kind of like that as well, especially since he is still in good scale with other Marvel movie action figures. And again, he does have very nice detailing, and his paint applications are fairly decent. So if this figure interests you, I'd say he is worth picking up. Verily. I hope you enjoyed this video review. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, look at what we have here. Goldilocks is coming out with another movie. Well, aren't you special? Mr. Ooh, look at me. I have a hammer. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm so awesome. I can beat people with it. Oh, yeah. Look at me. I have a hammer. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make a blockbuster movie. Oh, I'm going to make two blockbuster movies. Oh, yeah. Well, look at me. I'm the Batman. Let's see you do better than me, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what if my articulation sucks? Uh, I can still kick your ass. Uh, oh, I can't say those words here. Uh, 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 I can still beat you up. Yeah, yeah. So give me your best shot. Give me your best shot, huh? Huh? Give me your best shot. Brutal. Rachel! Alfred! Oh! Mom! Dad! I'll see you soon in heaven! Ugh!